Good day everyone. I hope you're doing well. Today's video is about Kess from Star Trek Voyager. And even though she only spent three seasons on the show, she left a lasting impact. So let's get into it. Number one. Kess was born on Ocampa in 2369. She belonged to a species that had telepathic abilities and a normal lifespan of only nine years. Kess's father, to whom she was very close to, who was considered the greatest inspiration of her life, died not long after her first birthday. She still thought about him and often felt his presence when she needed guidance. Number 2 When she was born, her mother expressed a wish that someday she would see the sun. Like most Ocampa, Kess was brought up underground as her planet's surface had become a barren wasteland due to a catastrophic event and was unsuitable for habitation. She was frustrated that the Ocampa had been dependent on the caretaker for so long that they couldn't even think for themselves anymore. She knew that before they had given up their independence for comfort and security, they had been a people with full command of their mind's abilities, abilities they had lost because they stopped using them and began to just take what they were given. Kess did not want to walk the path of the caretaker had set for her and other Ocampa anymore. She believed her people needed to evolve and that they could only do so by learning to survive on their own and on their own terms. Number 3 Her yearning to see the outside world led her to believe the city in 2371 through some ancient channels. However, upon reaching the surface, she was captured by members of the Kazon Ogla sect, who had established a camp near the city. There, she was mistreated and tortured for information regarding the entrance to the city. The Kazon were a crude and rather technologically deficient race, and finding a way to the fruitful underground oasis of the Ocampa city would have provided them with abundant resources. Number 4 during her time with the Ogla, she met the Talaxi Neelix and the two fell in love. Neelix promised to rescue her. He managed this with the aid of Captain Janeway's USS Voyager and Chakotay's Maquis crew that had been transported to the Delta Quadrant by the caretaker's array. In return, Kess agreed to help them retrieve crew members that had been sent to the Ocampa City for care after the experiments the caretaker had done on them. After the array had been destroyed by Janeway, so the Ocampa would not fall victim to the ruthless Kazon, Kess and Neelix asked to join the Voyager crew on their journey, promising to serve the ship and its crew as valuable crew members. Number 5 As one of her first acts on Voyager, Kess volunteered to establish a hydroponics garden in Cargo Bay 2 in order to provide fresh fruits and vegetables to allow more variety in meals for the crew. Her requirement for the soil for her garden from sickbay started her friendship and sympathy with the doctor. Kess quickly settled into a life aboard Voyager and began growing vegetables in her hydroponic bay. She also began to study medicine under the doctor in order to become the doctor's nurse. When Neelix was attacked by the Vidians and they removed his lungs, she donated one of her own to save his life. After the operation, the doctor allowed her to commence training to become his medical assistant. Number 6 Soon, Kess started to help the doctor in sick bay. She was shocked at the way the doctor was treated by the crew. After explaining the situation to Captain Janeway, the captain agreed with her. Janeway told the doctor that he was a member of the crew and she gave him control of his deactivation of his program. The doctor found Kess' intellectual curiosity intriguing, and in the course of instructing her in her medical studies, he postulated that Kess had an eidetic memory. Number 7 Kess's native telepathic powers continued to grow during her time in space, and she received training from Tuvok to control her powers. When Voyager encountered another group of Ocampa and the entity Subsperia, Kess's powers increased so fast that she began to lose control of them, incinerating the hydroponics bay and nearly killing Tuvok due to her new power of pyrokinesis. 
Fortunately, she saw how twisted these Okampa had become and used her powers to fight them off. With the escape of Superiority, her powers returned to their normal levels. Number 8 Voyager entered the core space of Borg and stumbled across the Borg Species 8472 war. As a result of the telepathic nature of Species 8472, Kess began to experience visions of the future and later began to communicate with the race. When they realized her nature, Species 8472 began reading Kess's memories. The communication ceased when the species retreated from the Delta Quadrant. Only a few days later, Kess began to undergo a massive surge in her mental powers. Although it is theorized that the exposure to species 8472 caused the changes, there was little evidence for this. For whatever reason, Kess became telekinetic and was able to carry out delicate surgical procedures using only her mind. Unfortunately, she rapidly started to destabilize at the subatomic level and was causing massive damage to Voyager as a result. Taking a Class II shuttle, she left the ship to explore her new condition, and, as she left the corporeal world behind, pushed Voyager out of Borg space, 9,500 light years closer to Earth, as a parting gift. Number 9 In the original sequence of events in 2376, Voyager received a distress call from a small ship. Sensors revealed that the ship had one Ocompan life form on board. It was an aged Kess who requested to beam aboard Voyager. When Janeway questioned her motives, Kess responded by ramming Voyager with her ship and boarding the Starfleet vessel. In her old age, Kess had forgotten she had chosen to leave Voyager and thought the crew had abandoned her when she became too troublesome. Subsequently, she hunted down Voyager, seeking revenge. She made her way to engineering, using her powers to cause extensive damage along the way. When she reached engineering, Kess murdered Bolana Torres and used the warp core's energy to enhance her powers and travel back to 2371, shortly after Voyager had become trapped in the Delta Quadrant. She attempted to prevent her younger self from developing her powers, making a deal with the Vidians to attack and capture the ship while taking the younger Kess back to Ocampa. This was thwarted by Captain Janeway. Number 10 In the new version of 2376, Kess once again assaulted the ship, but Janeway was able to divert the crew from Kess's path, minimizing the damage she inflicted on the ship. When she reached engineering, she found the warp core offline. A hologram that Kess had recorded of herself before leaving Voyager was activated. The holographic image reminded her that she was responsible for her own fate. Kess responded emotionally and ceased hostilities. Janeway offered her a place on the crew, but she refused, opting instead to return to her home world. I do hope you like this video of Kess. What's your favorite memory of Kess on Voyager? Let me know in the comments below. Consider subscribing to the channel and liking this video. Thank you, take care, and have a great day.